Hello subscribers, we are back with another uh, care video. This time it is on Theria Pedravana, the Indian Domino Cockroach, you can see one right there. Um, this is a really cool um, species that I am quite fond of. I think they're a great um, entryway into the more uh, um, exotic cockroaches, I guess you could say. Um, their care is pretty simple. Um, these are the adults. Um, try and kind of wrangle one. Very cool, as you can see, they do kind of look like a domino. Um, but, okay, lost my train of thought. So, really cool species, easy to care for. The bulk of their diet is actually leaf litter. This is a mix of oak, uh, magnolia, there's laquat. Um, the substrate is mostly peat moss and uh, a little bit of cocoa fiber, some compost in there as well. Um, the really interesting thing about these guys, and it's also something that kind of turns people off from them sometimes, is their uh, their life cycle. So this is an egg-laying species, they, so they have oots, and if you have adults, they will lay oots. The oots take about six months to incubate, quite a while. Excuse the plane flying overhead. I'm in the path of an airport, and it's an unfortunate reality for me. Um, so the oots take about six months to hatch, and then the nymphs, which um, they look pretty much just like the adults or like any other roach nymph, except uh, they kind of. Uh, I wish I could find an ooth for you, but that might be asking a little too much. There's another adult. Um, but the nymphs take about two years to mature into adults, so long turnover time for these guys. Um, the nymphs can't climb, but the adults, as you can see, can, um, which makes it a little pain, a bit of a pain to film this, um, because of that, but, um, cute little guys. Um, love them lots. Um, like I said, the bulk of their diet is deciduous leaves, um, which you can, you know, get from your forest or order online, whatever. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, as far as extra food, they appreciate fruits and veg. Um, I find they like squash and pumpkin the best. Um, butternut squash is a favorite. They'll also eat cucumbers and carrots. Um, they'll nibble on just about anything. They'll nibble on sweeter fruits too, but I don't like to give them too much, like, sweet, sweet fruits because they tend to mold real quick. Um... Now, I just recently misted these, so you can see that the substrate's kind of damp. Actually, a little damper than I normally like it. Um, but these guys are kind of a more arid cockroach. Um, they like it a little bit on the drier side. Um, at least compared to their cousin, the uh, Ondari, I forget how it's pronounced, but the question mark roach. The question mark roach likes it a little bit damper than these guys. Um, but they do like it a little bit on the dry side. They still need a moist corner. Um, basically that's for the benefit of the oots, so that way they don't dry out. Um, so the oots can have a place to kind of incubate, I guess you, sh you would say. But, uh, yeah, um, ventilation, not that huge of a deal. I might make bigger ventilation holes just because I made it kind of damp in here and I didn't mean to do that. But it won't hurt them much, just as long as it's allowed to dry out. You don't want to keep them too damp by any means. But, uh, yeah, very cool species. Got a little corner of squash in there for them. They were munching on before I disturbed them. But, um, quite prolific. They lay a lot of oots. So you'll have a ton of nymphs with only a few adults. It's just that turnaround, that waiting time that kind of turns people off. But, you know, if you're patient, I think it's well worth it, at least in my opinion. They're a very cool cockroach. Um, not creepy or gross at all. Um. I'd say even good for kids, you know, they, they can be a little bit quick, but there's nothing, they're nothing like super unmanageable for like a 10 year old or something like that, or maybe a little older than that, but um, great pet invert to have, and just really cool looking. Um, I do give them a couple of other hides besides the leaves, it's mostly just leaves, but um, I also give them a piece of cork bark, Let's see, are there any nymphs down there? Not that I can see. I guess most of my nymphs have matured into adults and now 
I'm in the stage where uh, I'm just waiting for uh, nymphs, I guess. You know, or oots. Um, I haven't gone looking for oots. I'm sure there's oots in here, but I just haven't looked. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Um, I hope you guys appreciate these little care videos that I'm making. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, lord. Please don't escape. I don't need that. Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to end the video here before I get, like, a ton of escapees. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, ask any questions that you want to ask, and uh, give me any suggestions for more videos. i got tons of roaches and stuff. Oh, uh, one more thing. Catch me at the NorCal Reptile Expo in San Mateo on November 10th and 11th. I'll have these guys and a bunch of other different types of roaches and isopods. I'll have assassin bugs. Um, let's see what else. Um, I said isopods already. I'll have scorpions, a few tarantulas, um, maybe even some phasmids. We'll see. But yeah, have a good one.